Big Jackpot. Tonight's... AMU Public Television. Tonight, the Blue Division semifinal between Marlette and Manistee. Next on Quiz Central. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com. The CMU Bookstore, celebrating 10 seasons as a proud sponsor of Quiz Central, on campus in the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the CMU Events Center. On the buzzers, with Central begins now. Hudson. St. Petersburg. The Maori. Egypt. The Civil War. Christmas Girl. Good evening. Welcome on in to Quiz Central. Great to have you with us here tonight. The Blue Division is down to the final three. And we have two of those teams battling it out tonight in the semifinal. We welcome in Manistee and Marlette. One of these two teams will move on to the Blue Division title game against Ithaca here in a few weeks. We started off our tournament with 48 teams this season. We divided them into four separate 12-team divisions based on the size of the schools. The red, white, blue, and gold divisions will each crown a champion. And the four starters and three alternates of the four division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 residence hall scholarship to Central Michigan University provided by CMU's residence life. Plus, we'll award four textbook scholarships to four lucky Quiz Central seniors, courtesy of the CMU Bookstore. Boy, our semifinal games have been great up to this point, and we expect another one here tonight. Let's get right to it here in the Blue Division. Time for the Maroon and Gold Rush round. Two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers? will allow the opposing team's individuals to try to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in round one, and correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. And are you ready? All right, put your hands on the buzzers. We put two minutes on the clock. Quiz Central begins now. What place, which appears in the title of a John Steinbeck novel about the Trask family, is an earthly paradise from which Adam and Eve were expelled? Marlette Henry. Garden of Eden. Eden is right, and Marlette is on the board. What sport is played by Roy Hobbs in Bernard Malamud's novel, The Natural, and Marlette Chris? Baseball. Yes, baseball is right. What U.S. state, which is home to the giant sandstone formations of Arches National Park and Zion National Park, is predominantly Mormon? Manistee Brad. Utah. Yes, Utah is right. Manistee is on the board. Hydroxyapatite is a mineral containing what metallic element whose carbonate salt can decompose to form quicklime and has the atomic symbol CA? Manistee Kyle. Calcium. Yes, calcium is right. The Eastern Settlement and Western Settlement were failed Norse colonies on what icy North Atlantic landmass Marlette Henry. Greenland. Yeah, Greenland is the right answer. Dr. Cohn performs an appendectomy on the brave title character of what 1939 Ludwig Belmumann's picture book about 12 little girls who live in Paris? Marlette Henry. Madeline. Yes, that is right. The score to the film Tron Legacy was composed by what two-man French band whose 2013 album Random Accent... Manistee Brad. Daft Punk. Yes, that is correct. In 2011, the Anada movement formed a political party in what country where a street vendor's 2010 self immunization helped launch the Arab Spring? Marlette Chris. Tanzania. 
No, that's not right. Manis Manistee Graham. Uh, Tunisia? Yes, Tunisia is right. You got it before the bell. That is a correct answer. And 10 points right at the bell for Manistee. And that does tie the game at 40-40. As a matter of fact, no incorrect answers in the first round. And you split them right down the middle. Nice job, both teams here in this semifinal game. All right, time for us to introduce both of these teams here in the Blue Division semifinal as we welcome back the Chippewas from Manistee High School. Graham, welcome to Quiz Central. I'm Graham Fisher. I'm a senior at MHS, and I'm on the forensics team. My name is Kyle Schraubrook. I'm a sophomore at MHS, and I run on the track and cross-country teams. Hi, I'm Brad Madsen. I'm a senior at Manistee High School, and I'm captain of the football team. I'm Michael Stippa. I'm a senior, and I do forensics and youth and government. And Manistee is coached by Amanda Clemens, and the alternate is Troy Trombley. A nice round of applause for Manistee High School. <laughs> And their opponents, the Red Raiders from Marlette. Chris, welcome to Quiz Central. Hi, I'm Chris Blatt. I'm a member of the football and baseball team, and I'm captain of the math team. I'm Becky Taylor. I am a senior. I participate in band, quiz bowl, and the science academic team. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm a senior, and my two main occupations are quiz bowl and 4-H. Hi, my name is Henry Bartholomew. I'm a senior, and I enjoy studying politics and economics. And Marlette is coached by Bruce Erlin and Carolyn Taylor. And the alternates are Colin Blatt, Paige Crosby, and Adam Goodrich. Nice round of applause for Marlette High School. <laughs> All right, we're off to a good start here in a deadlocked game as we head into our second round tonight. And it is called the kickoff round. We'll kick it off with a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up with the team answering correctly getting 10 points. After a correct answer, that team will be asked up to three bonus questions worth 10 points apiece. Consulting among team members is allowed only on the bonus questions, not on the toss-up. And once a team incorrectly answers a bonus, we'll go back to a toss-up for both teams. So teams, get your buzzers ready. Here's your first toss-up question. This character shoots a cab driver through a window in a study in pink. Marlette Becky. Sherlock Holmes. No, that is not right. Manistee, I'll finish for one of you. An alternate version of this character is a female sober companion played by Lucy Liu on the CBS series Elementary. Manistee Graham. Watson. Yes, Watson is what I needed. Dr. Watson. What doctor who helps to solve crimes on Sherlock? Ten points for Manistee. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. You can confer or have the answers from you. Name these British political parties. An insulting term for rebellious Scottish Presbyterians indicates this party that dominated the opposing Tories for much of the 18th century. Brad, what do you think? No answer. No answer. It's the Whig party. Nothing on the bonus. It is 50 to 40, Manistee by 10. Toss-up question. Both teams, get your buzzers ready. This country's city of Shai Shai is in its Gaza province and is near the Marlette Henry. Egypt? No, that's not right. Manistee, I'll finish for one of you. And is near the mouth of the Limpopo River. Its flag had an image of an AK-47 added to it in 1983, eight years after its independence from Portugal. Name this country in southeastern Africa whose capital is Maputo. Manistee Brad. Mozambique. Yes, Mozambique is right. If it was a guess, it was the right one. Nice job. Take a look at that flag when you get a chance as well. Very interesting. Bonus questions now for Manistee. No buzzers needed. You can confer, Brad, the answers from you. This character writes an essay about a baseball glove that belonged to his dead brother, Ali. Name this character who is expelled from Pensy Prep in The Catcher in the Rye. Holden Caulfield. Yes, that is right. Second bonus for you. The Catcher in the Rye was written by this author of A Perfect Day for Banana Fish. J.D. Salinger. Yeah. Salinger. Yes, Salinger. J.D. Salinger is right and a chance to sweep the bonus. A Perfect Day for Banana Fish ends with the suicide of a member of this family named Seymour. Other members of this family appear in Salinger's novella Franny and Zoe. No answer. It would be the Glass family. Able to get two on the bonus, and that bell signals the end of the round. Good round for Manistee. They jump into a 
Little bit of a lead, 80 to 40 over Marlette. And when we come back, it'll be time for the perfect 10 right after this. Got the sheets? Uh. <laughs> we built it. <laughs> yes, we did. Adventure requires a trusted guide. Find yours at PBS. One tremendous thing about PBS is that it makes art accessible by putting it on a platform where millions of people can access it for free. And we need it. We need music, we need dance, we need great theater for our soul, for joy in our lives. A lot of people flip on PBS and hear or see something that wakes up that integral part of being a human being, which is enjoying the arts of other human beings. So I'm grateful for PBS as an artist and as a viewer. And welcome back. Blue Division semifinal here tonight. Next time on the show, we move into our small schools division, the gold division for a semifinal. And we welcome back Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart and Carsonville Port Sanilac. Hope you'll join us for that. Got a good one going here, though, as we move into our perfect 10 round. This is round three, the perfect 10, a 60-second round. Each team will have a separate set of 10 questions from their choice of three categories. Teams can either answer or pass a question in order to answer as many of the 10 questions as possible in 60 seconds. The opposing team will then have 30 seconds to answer any that were passed, incorrectly answered, or questions we didn't get to in the time frame. Each correct answer worth 10 points. Teams you can consult in the perfect 10. The team that is trailing has first choice of the clues to the categories. Marlette, that would be you. Here are your clues tonight. They are, it's best to be punctual, critters on canvas, or monarch butterflies. Might be the most important decision of the night. Becky, what do you think? The first one. It's best to be punctual. Category is punctuation marks. Which punctuation mark or symbol is? Again, punctuation marks. Which punctuation mark or symbol is? 60 seconds on the Marlette clock. Used instead of a decimal point in Europe. Comma. Comma. Yeah, comma's right. Used to separate independent clauses that aren't sentences. Semicolon? Yeah, that's right. Found above the three on most keyboards. Exclamation point? No, that is not right. Used to designate a factorial in mathematics. Exclamation point. Yeah, that is right. Used to form the smile of a happy emoji. Parenthesis? Yeah, we'll take either the right or left. That is correct. Used to indicate an atom inside a fullerene cage. Uh, pass. pass. Found in the name of Johnny Manziel's alma mater. Oh, oh. And the answer. Ampersand. Yes, ampersand is right. Named from the Latin for little star. Asterisk. Yes, that's right. Found between the, oh, time's up. Didn't get to the last two, but a good solid six correct answers. 60 points for Marlette. Manistee, at least four out there for you to try to steal. Again, the category is punctuation marks. Which punctuation mark or symbol is? 30 seconds on the Manistee clock. Found above the three on most keyboards. Pound sign. Yes, that's right. Used to indicate an atom inside a fullerene cage. A bracket. No, that is not right. Found between the octets of an IP address. It's a colon, colon, yeah. colon. No, that's not right. Used to separate lines of poetry in an inline quote. Slash. Yes, Slash is right. And those are the four you had a chance to steal. Got two of those. So two steals, 20 points. The two punctuation marks that you will go back and probably jot down in graffiti for many, many days now. The uh, fullerene cage is an at symbol or the at sign. And the octets of an IP address is a period or a dot. All right, it is 100 to 100. Manistee, you have a choice now with the remaining two clues to the categories. And they are critters on canvas, 
or monarch butterflies? We'll take monarch butterflies. All right, monarch butterflies it is. The category is English monarchs. Who was the reigning king or queen of England when these events happened? Again, English monarchs. Who was the reigning king or queen of England when these events happened? 60 seconds on the Manistee clock. Signing of Magna Carta. Is it Edward? Edward I. No, that is not right. Battle of Stirling Bridge against William Wallace. Pass. Battle of Agincourt during the Hundred Years' War. Henry the Eighth. No, that is not right. American Revolution. George the Third. King George the Third. Yes, that is correct. Execution of Thomas More, an opponent of the Protestant Reformation. Mary. 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 No, that is not right. Thomas Beckett is killed. No idea. Lost colony of Roanoke in the 1580s. King George II. No, that's not right. Didn't get to the last three. Tough, tough category. One correct answer. Marlette, golden opportunity. There are nine out there for you to try to steal. You'll have 30 seconds to do it. The category is English monarchs. Who was the reigning king or queen of England when these events happened? 30 seconds on the Marlette clock. Signing of Magna Carta. Defer to Henry. John I. Yes, that is right. Battle of Stirling Bridge against William Wallace. Edward I. Yes, that's right. Battle of Agincourt during the hundred... Yes, Henry V is right. Execution of Thomas More. Henry VIII. Henry VIII is correct. Thomas Becket is killed. Henry II. That's right. Lost colony of Roanoke in the 15th... Elizabeth I. Yes, that's right. Third Crusade is launched. Uh, Richard I. Yes, that's right. World War II. George V. That is not right. And that's time, didn't get to the 10th one. Nice job, seven correct steals in 30 seconds. That's about as good as it gets. Uh, the two that you did not get were the last two. World War II is George VI. Start of the Glorious Revolution was the last one. Never really got to read that. James II would be the correct answer. Big perfect 10 for Marlette. Marlette grabs the lead, 170 to 110, which means a very important fourth round coming up right now. It is time for the home stretch. As we head down the home stretch, I'll have more toss-up questions followed by bonus questions for the team that answers the toss-up correctly. All correct answers, 10 points apiece. Get your buzzers ready. Here's an important toss-up question. The Battle of Tricamerum was fought near this city, which at the time was the capital of Gelimer's Vandal Kingdom. Dido was a legendary Marlette Henry. Carthage. Yes, Carthage is right. Going to have you name the city that fought Rome during the Punic Wars. Didn't need it. Got it early. Ten points. Bonus questions now for Marlette. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Becky, the answer's from you. Miles Morales became the new Spider-Man in the limited series Ultimate Fallout. Miles replaced this original Spider-Man who was raised by his Aunt May and Uncle Ben, and he died in the Ultimate Universe after a fight with Norman Osborn. Peter Parker. That is right, Peter Parker. Chance for the second bonus. Norman Osborn often took up this super villain persona using a glider and pumpkin bombs. Green Goblin. Yes, that's right, and a chance to sweep. In the Civil War series, a reformed Norman Osborn became the head of this organization, which is the focus of an ABC show starring Clark Gregg. Shield. Shield is right. Nice job with your comic book reading and a sweep of the bonus. All right, toss-up question. Both teams get your buzzers ready. In Greek myth, Io was changed into one of these animals to avoid the anger of Hera. Marlette Henry. Cow. Yes, a cow is right. Jumped it early again. I was going to tell you to name an animal that exhorts people to eat more chicken in the Chick-fil-A ads, and you didn't need that. Bonus questions again for Marlette. No buzzers are needed. The Kura River flows through the city of Tbilisi. Tbilisi is the capital of this Asian country that shares its English name with a U.S. state. 
Georgia? Yep, Georgia's the right one. Second bonus for you. The Kura River flows through this mountain range that passes through Georgia. Its highest peak, Mount Elbrus, lies near the border between Asia and Europe. Becky, need an answer from you. Caucasus. Yes, the Caucasus is right. If it was a guess, it was the right one and a chance to sweep the bonus. Part of Georgia's northern border is shared with this Russian republic whose capital is Grozny. <laughs> Becky, need an answer from you. Uzbekistan. No, not the right one. It's Chechnya. Able to get two on the bonus. All right, toss-up question. Both teams, get your buzzers ready. This country was home to woodblock printers who made pictures of the floating world. One image in a notable collection of 36 views of its highest mountain shows the great wave off Kanagawa. Name this home country of Hokosai. Marlette Henry. Japan. Yeah, Japan is right, who painted these views of Mount Fuji, is what I would have added. Again, bonus questions for Marlette. No buzzers are needed. Moshe Dayan resigned as this country's defense minister after the Yom Kippur War. Name this Jewish state that also fought an Arab coalition in the Six-Day War. Israel? Yep, Israel is right. Second bonus for you. This first and only female prime minister of Israel led the country during the Yom Kippur War. <sighs> Becky, need an answer. No answer. Golda Meir is her name, able to get one on the bonus. And that bell signals the end of the round. One round to go here in this Blue Division semifinal. Who moves to the championship game? We'll find out with a final countdown right after this. My child who's watching Super Y and it said, what letter makes the sound er? And my two-year-old is jumping up and down going, R, R, R. <laughs> I love that. I wish I knew the genius that came up with Dinosaur Train. I mean, what little boy especially doesn't like dinosaurs and trains and to put them together in one show? My family does without a lot of stuff, but I would be horrified if we had to do it without PBS. Interested in getting behind the scenes information about CMU Public Television and CMU Public Radio on the web or on your phone? Get connected with CMU Public Broadcasting online. Visit us on our Facebook page or send WCMU TV a tweet. Get the latest news from public radio and watch our local Michigan TV programs on YouTube. Like, follow, and watch. Stay connected with CMU Public Broadcasting on the web and learn more online at WCMU.org. And welcome back to Quiz Central. Great to have you with us tonight for this Blue Division semifinal game. One of these two teams will move on to the championship game against Ithaca. Who will it be? Let's find out. Head to our final round here tonight. It is time for the final countdown. Two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in the final countdown, and correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. Get your buzzers ready. We put two minutes on the clock, and the final countdown begins now. What South American country in which a 1973 coup ousted Salvador Allende was ruled afterward by Augusto Pinochet from its capital of Santiago? Manistee Brad. Chile. Yes, Chile is right. What book in which Brinker Hadley holds an inquiry to determine the causes of Finney's leg injury is a coming-of-age novel written by John Knowles? And nobody knows. Next question, both teams. In what series of wars during which the Treaty of Payne's Landing was signed did Osceola lead a namesake Native American tribe in Florida? Manistee Brad. Seminole Wars. Yes, that's right. What country, home to an uninterrupted beach at its port of Cox's Bazaar, contains the mouth of the Ganges River and has its... Marlette Henry. India. No, that's not right. I'll finish for Manistee. And has its capital at Dhaka. Manistee Graham. Uh, Bengal. No, that's not right. Next question, both teams. In September 2014, Omer J. Gonzalez jumped a fence along Pennsylvania Avenue, overpowered a guard, and entered what official Marlette Henry? The White House. Yes, the White House is right. Leia Kuan and Cassandra warned against what object designed Marlette Henry? The Trojan horse. Yeah, that is right. 
What physicist supervised Ernest Marsden and Hans Geiger in an experiment that showed a surprising deflection of alpha particles by gold foil? Manistee Kyle. Ruthford. Yes, that's right. What author wrote about Catherine's fascination with Gothic novels in Northanger Abbey and created the wealthy Mr. Darcy, Marlette Henry? Jane Austen. Yes, that is right. Percival Lowell's predictions led to Clyde Tombaugh's discovery of what target of the New Horizons probe, a dwarf planet orbited by Sharon? Marlette Brittany. Oh, Jupiter? No, that's not right. Manistee, you can buzz in if you know the answer. Manistee Michael. Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is right, and that will go on to the final score as a correct answer. But a nice round of applause. That bell signaled the end of the game. Marlette is your winner of the blue semifinal, 290 to 150. Only a couple of questions got you there in that final countdown. Uh, a separate piece is the coming-of-age novel written by John Knowles, and Bangladesh is the country whose capital is Dhaka. Those are the only two that you missed. Marlette, congratulations. You will move on to the Blue Division Championship game against Ithaca. Chance to win the division, possibly become our all-time ultimate Quiz Central Season 10 Grand Champion. Manistee, for you seniors, best of luck in your future endeavors. Great run to get this far. It's hard to get here. Nice job, Marlette. Got you toward the final couple of rounds. But best of luck to you seniors and underclassmen. Hopefully we'll see you back here again next season on Quiz Central. That's going to do it for us. Again, semifinal in the Gold Division next time. Hope you'll join us for that. Good night, everybody. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com. The CMU Bookstore, celebrating 10 seasons as a proud sponsor of Quiz Central, on campus in the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the CMU Events Center. Interested in getting behind the scenes information about CMU Public Television and CMU Public Radio on the web or on your phone? Get connected with CMU Public Broadcasting online. Visit us on our Facebook page or send WCMU TV a tweet. Get the latest news from Public Radio and watch our local Michigan TV programs on YouTube. Like, follow, and watch. Stay connected with CMU Public Broadcasting on the web and learn more online at WCMU.org. Next time on Cancer, the Emperor of All Maladies. New treatments bring new hope. If you're holding your sails in your hand, it might save your life. The cost of cancer. Cancer is one of the worst economic things that can happen to you. And the future of the fight. If the cancer cell is evolving, then so are we. The conclusion of Cancer, the Emperor of All Maladies. Tonight at 9 on CMU Public TV. Call, tweet, or Facebook us your questions and learn your answers live. Ask the Nutritionists, Thursday night at 7.30 on CMU Public Television. Thomas Cromwell, man of many talents. I find a use for you. 18 years of marriage with no heir. The queen won't go quietly. She has to be pushed. It was a time of tested loyalties. I trust in your discretion and your skill. Be very secret. Desperate ambitions. I'll give the king a son, and I won't die. He swears he'll marry her and crown her queen. Fatal betrayals. You have gone too far. I keep you because you are a serpent. You know my decision. Executed. You just be grateful, sir, that we have spared you the methods you use on others. It was a time when the fate of a kingdom, this is war, lay in the hands of a commoner. Now is the time to become the king you should be. You think you no longer need me, but those who've been made can be unmade. Wolf Hall.
Support provided by MidMichigan Health. Learn about your heart and vascular health, hip and knee pain, or breast cancer risk at morelifemorehealth.org. Through these assessment tools, you'll learn your risk factors and how you can impact them. Support from Suzanne Johnson's Sculpture and Jewelry Design in Grand Blanc. Creating one-of-a-kind engagement rings with designs inspired by her European classical training as a sculptor. Specializing in colored gemstones, Canadian diamonds, and redesigning your existing diamonds into a new contemporary setting. Suzanne creates custom bronze sculptures for both public and private commissions. More at S.